the first part of the development plan requires you to set up some smart targets. So we've provided examples relating to football. Um, you can see that we've made our smart targets specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time constrained. Um, so if you look at our smart target, we've looked at the specifics, which is the lofted, long range lofted pass. And we've even made it specific, specific in the area that we want to develop, saying we want to develop our striking technique and our follow three. Um, it's measurable in the fact that we've mentioned here the 55% successful passes or long range passes within a match situation. And we've also given the time constraint in terms of it being a six week training block. So by the end of the six week training block, that's what we want to achieve. Um, it's realistic because it potentially can be achieved. It's not something that's unrealistic. We haven't said 100%. We have said 55%. So there is a margin for error there for the individual. Um, so that's our technical target. And we would need to do one other target. So it says a minimum of two. We've done one. As a learner, you need to do another one to build on that. Again, you're focusing on rugby, remember. Um, we've just done it for football today. So the tactical target, um, we've then gone and said, right, we want to develop positional awareness of the defensive structure when a team adopts zonal marking from a set piece. And so there's the specifics of it. And we've said win 80% of contests allow, um, in the allocated de defensive zone. The one thing that I've missed off here is the time constraints. So we're going to say within uh, an eight-week period. So actually within eight weeks from now, that's what we want to achieve when 80% of contests allocated in, in my allocated defensive zone from a set piece. Okay, so there are the targets. Again, with the, ta the tactical one, we need to make sure we do two. So at the moment, there's only one, you should build on that and do another one alongside it.